Writing sales letters can be effective if you follow the universal principles in this summary. It might seem complicated and difficult, which it is in some cases, but thanks to Robert Collier's guidance, the how to became clearer to me and inspired me to start selling three products or services, the links to which you may find in the description. In this video, I'll break down how I used six principles from the book in those examples. The first example was selling my old bike. I published it on a second-hand website and wrote, I'll suggest this bike for daily use. You see, when I used to ride this bike up to 10 hours a day, I got injured. So, I concluded that it would be a better fit for someone with about half hour daily usage so that they wouldn't get injured. This fits the profile of a person who needs it to go to work and back daily. So, just like a fisherman who needs to know what bait to use to attract his fish, I used daily usage as the bait to attract this specific buyer. What fish are you baiting? What bait do you need to use to attract that specific fish? You may pause the video and write it down on a piece of paper or answer it in the accompanying worksheet which is provided in the description. As a content creator, also consider using the Define Target Audience in about 5 minutes PDF which is also in the description. Idea 1 is Know Your Fish and Its Bait In the same bike ad, I also addressed the speed of the bike by saying, This bike has 29 inch wheels, which contribute to speed. It weighs 12.9 kg overall. By doing so, I was creating a more and more vivid image. Here's what Robert says on the matter. And the secret of painting such a picture in the reader's mind? is to take some familiar figure his mind can readily grasp, add one point of interest here, another there, and so on, until you have built a complete word picture of what you have to offer. The Robert Collier Letterbook, page 28 So don't be afraid of having a long sales description, as long as it is about what is interesting to the buyer. What details can you give the buyer to help imagine himself using your product or content? You may pause the video now and write it down. Idea 2 is create a live image for your prospect. The second application example is a Fiverr gig of a whiteboard animation creator I've been working on publishing. In the gig description I wrote, Even if you've never made a video before, I will script it out, send it to you for revision, then make a voiceover and send that for revision too. After that the animation will follow. Each of those offers allows the buyer a way to fix the outcome even if he doesn't like the first one. This principle is based on Robert's inclusion of some sort of free trial in the great majority of his letters. For example, he sent Beggs to try for a week and asked for payment only after that. Books with the same trick, magazines, and what have you. With the knowledge that once a person gets his hands on an item, he starts counting it as his own, and it becomes more difficult to part with it. How will you reduce the risk for the buyer or give them a small win to attract them to your content? You may pause the video and answer this question now. Idea 3 is Commitment and Consistency. Here's a quote of another line from the same description. 
How much would it cost you to learn to make a whiteboard animation video? 100 hours? 200? Would those 200 hours be worth 25, 50 or 100 dollars to you? When the reader calculates that, and even if he receives the minimal US wage, 100 hours would be worth 725 dollars. Still, miles away from the hundred dollars that I offer. Here's just one example out of many where Robert uses this principle. In the various bindings of the original publishers, these 846 masterpieces would cost thirty dollars more than we asked for them in uniform bindings. Bound up into ten volumes, in durable cloth binding, the price of these 846 stories, tales, and poems is only $16, payable at a rate of $1 a month. The Robert Collier Letter Book, page 81. How could you make the audience feel that the value of what they're getting is higher than what they pay for it in time or in money? You may pause the video now and write it down. Idea 4 is create a bargain appeal. After a week's work of setting up the website, I've been seriously considering just quitting, because I found out that the chlorella I've been intending to sell has heavy import tax and bureaucracy. But then, an idea popped into my mind. I decided to reduce the offer to just 5 units of chlorella powder. You see, up to 5 units a quarter is considered a personal import and does not require special permits of an importer and other bureaucracy in Israel. This in turn created a strong scarcity effect, because of a very limited 5 unit stock and with a strong justification at that, which of course, I didn't fail to mention to the readers. In Robert's words, you must hold over his head a sword of Damocles, the thread of which may be cut at any moment. Set a time beyond which orders will not be accepted, or give a valid reason why the supply is strictly limited. The Robert Collier Letter Book, page 344. How will you create scarcity for your product, content, or service? If you'd like to see some results, you may pause the video and answer that question now. Idea 5 is scarcity. At the same opportunity, I also minimize the risk for myself so that if I run into any unforeseen problems, it will cost me minimal trouble to back out. Here are some things that I could figure out because of it. 1. I may see how much does the import cost really include once the product arrives and not just on paper. 2. How fast and smooth will it arrive? 3. How much will shipping in-country cost, and how fast will it arrive? 4. If a refund is requested, how should I act, both software-wise and how much fees will the transfers cost? 5. Will there be enough demand? In Robert's words, you need never risk anything but the cost of a test. When Wells' outline of history was offered to us, we said, give us a 60-day option and we'll find out. So we found that we could sell so many sets to each thousand names, and knew just what we could safely contract to do. The Robert Collier Letter Book, page 237. What kind of test are you going to run before you dive fully in on your next product, content, or service? 
You may pause the video and answer this question now. Idea 6 is test, test, test. As I mentioned in the end of the first idea, if you wish to apply the ideas in this video and not just listen to them, I have included a 6 sales letter principles fillable worksheet to help you with that in the description below. Thank you for watching. Hope that you keep improving and see you in the next videos, improvementers. Bye bye.